Welcome back to another vlog. I'm back in New York. It's 2023. I'm literally just putting away some laundry before I leave. I have been back in the city for a few days now. I came back the day before New Year's. And so I spent New Year's here. We just did a chill night at home. We, my boyfriend actually got a bunch of just like little treats and foods for us to have. We had oysters, we had caviar, which I've never had before. And then we also had homemade pizza, which was just so nice. And yeah, it was the best way to just end off 2022. Yeah, now we're here. It's Monday, January 2nd. I am about to leave for the airport. I told you guys before I left that I had a pretty busy first week of the year. I am going on two work trips technically. I'm flying to Columbus today. I'm working there tomorrow and Wednesday. And then Wednesday night after work, I fly to Milwaukee and then I work there for a day. And then Thursday night, I fly back. So it's gonna be a busy week. I'm very excited. I'm working with a new client the first two days. So that's always exciting. Thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. I am obviously working with a new client and so I'm gonna see how much I'll be able to vlog on the job, but I think it'll just be fun to go to a new city and kind of show you guys what I get up to, um, show you how I spend my time when I'm traveling for work and things like that. And obviously I just miss vlogging and being away. I hope you guys had a happy holiday season if you celebrate a happy new year. And I'm very excited to see what this year will bring. So I'm gonna, finish up packing and we're gonna head off to the airport. So clean and really nice. So happy to be at the hotel. I am going, ow, oh shit. Except on one of these plastic things, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, um, I made it to the hotel, so happy to be here. It's also a decent time. I think it's like 8.30, yeah, 8.20. Um, we ended up taking off and landing early and so, Basically made it to a hotel in no time. It's also very close to the airport and the shooting location tomorrow, which is just like so nice and honestly never happens. Like at least every time I've traveled for work, you always have to take Ubers everywhere and you have to count for that time, which you know is just an everyday thing, but it's like an extra cherry on top when you can walk to work. So um, I'm going to unpack my bag since i'm here for two nights i didn't bring that much stuff so it won't be too much of a hassle um then i'm gonna shower and i'm gonna try and sleep early so i can wake up early also for breakfast apparently they have breakfast in the hotel so i'm gonna check that out and then i'm probably gonna try and go for a little walk in the area before work it's too early to be vlogging right now <laughs> I feel 
feeling a little more alive. I just got back from downstairs. I got a coffee and then I also got some breakfast stuff, just some yogurt and berries. I originally wanted to check out the hotel breakfast, but there was no one there when I went there. So I ended up just spotting a little coffee store in the lobby and that was perfect for me. So um, yeah, I'm back in the room. I slept really well until about 3 a.m. And then I was awake until five. <laughs> and then I slept from five to six and that was kind of my night. So not the best sleep ever, but could be worse. So um, I'm just gonna enjoy this for a second, drink some water. I've been drinking a lot of water. Actually, almost all my bottles are empty. And then um, I'm gonna have breakfast, do my skincare and head out the door. I don't know why I didn't do this last night, but I <laughs> opened the blinds earlier and then I realized that it's the inside of the hotel and the other side of the hallway right there. Getting ready to leave the room. It's 8.20. Um, unfortunately, it's raining really hard outside and so I'm not gonna be able to walk because I didn't bring an umbrella and my hair is gonna get wet if I do that. So I'm just gonna call a car and then we're gonna head to work. finished work for the day it was a very long day and I didn't vlog very much but yeah I had a really good day everyone on the team is super nice and easy to work with it was just a lot of clothes and honestly I was having one of those weird body image days I'm sure other models are just you know anybody can relate to that but I don't know sometimes flying and traveling can give me not the greatest feeling inside my body. I feel kind of like watery and bloated and sometimes my digestion is off as well and so I kind of just had one of those days and when you're, oh my god, it's kind of loud here. Um, you know, when you're shooting clothes and you're shooting like clothes that are maybe more tight or provocative, sometimes it can make you feel some type of way about yourself and so, I don't know. I'm just happy to be done with today. I'm walking back to the hotel. It's actually great because it's been raining all day and it's about to continue raining all night. But I have this little window of time where I can walk back to the hotel. So I'm enjoying that right now. It's beautiful out. And yeah, just trying to focus on the good things. So I. I'm gonna decompress for a little bit. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna order some food and I'll show you guys what I get. I just got back to the hotel and I'm chilling in the chair because I don't wanna lay on the bed with my clothes on. Um, I just ordered a bowl for dinner. I placed an order at Roots Natural Kitchen. Can't, why can't I turn the chair? <laughs> Um, it's, I mean, I've, I've obviously never ordered from there before, but it looks really good. They have a ton of bowls. I ordered a chicken Caesar bowl with kale and brown rice. So it's going to be nice and healthy and filling for the night, which is what I need. Um, they have a ton of healthy options here in Columbus, which is so nice and refreshing. <laughs> Sometimes when you go to these places for work they have no options um and it makes it hard to you know eat healthy and feel good the next day so i'm really excited about that i wanted to come back to the body image thing that i was talking about earlier and touch on it a little bit i don't want to give attention to it but i do feel like it's important to bring up i also feel like this just doesn't come up on my channel very much because i tend to 
vlog on days where I feel good and vlog on days where I feel confident because I want that energy to come across in my videos and I also think for myself it's important to focus on those type of feelings rather than the ones that bring your mood down or bring your confidence down but at the end of the day like these type of days do happen and they happen to me and they happen you know I wouldn't say often but they do happen once in a while and it's not because I feel some type of way about myself or because of any particular reason it's mainly you know external factors that I can't control obviously sometimes you know my body's affected by things that I have control over like food and drinking enough water being hydrated um, drinking alcohol but I tend to be very careful of those things when I know I'm gonna be working or traveling. Today, for example, was one of those days where it kind of just happened unexpectedly. I, you know, I ate very well yesterday. I feel like I drank a lot of water and I even worked out yesterday during the day and still I woke up today and I didn't feel good in my body. I didn't feel confident, I felt bloated, I felt, you know, all these things. And so I just wanna be honest about that and, and kind of share that not every day is perfect and not every day is, a great body image day and even when you have a good relationship with your body and with food and you love your body you know 90% of the time you do still have that 10% where you maybe don't feel your best or you don't like the way that you look or there's other factors that are affecting that and like that's totally normal and so the best thing that you can do on days like that and the best thing that I can do for myself is to remind myself that these feelings and these thoughts and you know the energy that I'm giving to it is temporary and it doesn't define who I am as a person um, and that's kind of what I tried to tell myself today especially on a day where I'm working with all new people I'm in a new city um, I'm obviously trying to impress the client I try and remind myself that at the end of the day like this is all just temporary and later in the day or the next day I'm going to feel normal again or I'm going to feel different than I do in that moment so um, yeah I just thought it's important to kind of be transparent about that because it does happen to me and um, you know I talked to you guys about this towards the end of last year too like I have grown so much in my relationship with my own body and in the relationship with myself but that doesn't mean that it's perfect and it's okay to have a day where it's not perfect anyway i actually my uber eats is supposed to be here in like two minutes so i have to head downstairs but um i thought it was important to share that with you guys and just just be honest because if i had come on the vlog after work today and been like oh today was a great day then i would be lying you know like it was a great day in other aspects, but it wasn't necessarily my most confident day, if you know what I mean. Massive bag of food from Uber Eats. And they actually included all the water bottles this time, which sometimes they don't do. So I'm very, very happy. Okay. I know, I'm not a huge fan of plastic water bottles either but when you're in a pinch you're in a pinch and then we have this insane bowl which i can't wait to eat good morning it is wednesday i oh there we go um i just got out of the shower i'm feeling so much better than yesterday i can't even explain it Feel like a different person and yeah i have to be at work a little bit earlier today since i have my flight later tonight so i'm gonna do my skincare now i'm gonna pack up my suitcase which is gonna be really quick and then we're gonna walk to work i can actually walk to work today because the rain isn't starting until nine and i need to be there at 8 30 so i'm excited about that look at hair on my face I also realized that I haven't really shown you guys any of my travel skincare. I basically try and keep my skincare routine as normal as possible and just bring like smaller versions of the things that I use 
every day. I have my mini protini, I have my mini cleansing balm, I have my mini Garnier micellar water. Um, and I just think that that's the best way to keep your skin fresh and healthy on trips like these. Uh, especially when you're flying and your skin kind of gets dried out. I also always bring my skin food. This is like my holy grail um, in the winter for dry skin. So I'm gonna, I already washed my face because I took a shower or like rinsed. I don't really use cleanser in the morning. So I'm just gonna go straight in with my moisturizer and then um, yeah, I just keep it very simple when I go to work because usually they end up taking off my skincare anyway. Yeah, I just try and keep it really simple. I had such a weird sleep again last night. I basically had a repeat of yesterday. 3 a.m., maybe it was like 3.10 or something. I wake up, I had to pee, and then I couldn't sleep again until like 5.30, which is when I set my alarm to wake up. Because I wanted to edit my video, because um, I didn't end up doing that last night. I ended up just catching up with my mom and my boyfriend. Um, and so I ended up falling asleep at 5.30, slept till 6.30, and then I got up and got coffee and edited my video until now. But it's so weird because I usually don't... I've, I'm so lucky when it comes to sleep, like knock on wood, but... Um, yeah, I never have sleep problems really. It could just be like subconsciously that my brain is thinking about travel or flights or, you know, just like new situations. And that's why I'm waking up and not being able to fall asleep again, who knows. I feel like I look like Elizabeth Holmes right now from Theranos with this black turtleneck and my hair like this. Ah! It's terrible, it's a terrible thought. Um, anyway, another thing that I always like to do is brush up my eyebrows with a little clear gel. Obviously I can't wear any makeup to work and I don't want to because I'm already wearing it all day, but just a little like something in my eyebrows always makes me feel good. So that is pretty much all I do for going to work. I know I haven't spoken to you basically all day, but I made it to Milwaukee. It was quite the experience, which I will share with you in a second. But I'm quickly gonna show you guys the room. Staying in a new hotel this time around, and it is just, a hundred times better. It's so cute and clean, updated. And I'm so excited to sleep in this bed tonight. <laughs> Just went downstairs and picked up my food. This is the nice thing about going places where you've been before is just like knowing the timing. And whenever I come here, I always know to order my food as I'm getting in the Uber and then it'll be there pretty much right when I get checked in and get to the hotel, it's so nice. Um, I just ordered sushi for dinner because that's pretty much one of the healthiest things you can eat here. Anyway, I didn't vlog very much just because it was such a busy day. I had a lot to shoot again. Um, and we just got started earlier because we knew we were leaving a little bit earlier uh, because of our flights. I was working with another girl today, she was really sweet. But basically we left the shoot location 45 minutes before my flight was gonna take off. And luckily it was like super close to the airport and everything, but the security line was so long. And they also had a lot of disabled people who were going through the security and they just kept putting those people in front of me and in front of the people who were in front of me. And so I ended up like barely making my flight. So I got super lucky. Then I had a really quick layover in Chicago. I was supposed to have a 45 minute layover, but we were stuck like on the tarmac for a little while. And so I basically ended up getting off that plane and getting right on the one to Milwaukee. So it was a little bit of a stressful night, but I am just so happy that I made it. 
I'm happy to be staying in this beautiful room. And yeah, I just can't wait to shower and eat my dinner and get to bed. So I promise I'm gonna vlog more tomorrow. Allie's here. We're gonna shoot together tomorrow and then we'll fly back to New York together as well. So that should be fun. But for right now, I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you guys in the morning. Like we never left. I'm get coffee and uh, breakfast isn't here yet. Coffee first. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, do you want to be? Yeah. Lunchtime! <laughs> I'm back at the airport. <laughs> I just have to say goodbye to Ali because we unfortunately don't have the same flight home. We thought we did, but she is flying United. She's landing at Newark and I'm flying Delta and I'm landing at LaGuardia, but I have a layover. And so I tried to get on her flight, but apparently it's fully booked. And the only seat that was available was like a crazy expensive business class seat. So um, I'm just gonna stick to my regular plan. And yeah, I'm gonna be home late, but at this point, I'm honestly just excited to be home and um, yeah, I can't really complain. Anyway, this is probably gonna be the end of the vlog considering that I'm gonna be home again tomorrow. So I'm gonna close off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.